sports selling agent, Laura Ranieri. She's been doing all the very, very hard yards here. And uh, we give you a very, very big welcome to, uh, to the, the absolute uh, showpiece residents of the district. A home that comes to the marketplace today in this dress circle pocket of, uh, of George's Hall. Master built residence at 103 Sturt Avenue. The property comes under the vendor's contract for property stock and business agents act. And the terms and conditions are subject to reserve price. The highest bidder will be the purchaser. In the event of a disputed bid, the auctioneer is the sole arbitrator. The decision of the auctioneer is final. The auctioneer can refuse any bid that he feels is not in the vendor's best interest. The vendor's right to bid is reserved. It's specified as one bid and a bidder is deemed to be the principal bidder. Unless prior to the auction, an authority is handed to us allowing a person to bid for it on behalf of another. At the fall of the hammer, we need 10% deposit of the purchase price to be paid by the successful bidder. And bidders, of course, need to be registered to bid. So you've got your bidding cards in your hand. Wave those when you make your bids. You can register to bid right up until the fall of the hammer. But we can't take any bids after the hammer falls as we don't accept late bids and we can't. This palatial architect design residence, it's a property of phenomenal scale. It's one of those typically highly principled Italian builds and, uh, and it comes to the marketplace where J.P. O'Neill solicitors say lot 52 of deposit and pay 700 473. Three level, master build architect design, double brick and concrete residence. The full width thumb um, terraces upstairs, the rear balcony, the covered entertainment area, the workshop. Four car garaging to the residence and the additional hard stand parking to the uh, to the front. There's a pagola. There's gymnasium in the residence as well. We have granite flooring philanthropically put through the uh, the residence. The bar equipped Corinthian columns in the uh, between the living and the uh, the dining. The ducted air conditioning, blinds, clothesline, curtains, dishwasher, fixed floor coverings, insect screens, light fittings, rain hood. You saw the top of the line Gagano oven in the uh, in the residence as well. TV antenna, the alarm, the air conditioner, the billiard table, and the kitchen table included. 90 days of settlement for the home, our title, drainage, a copy of the deposit, and pay it, all annexed to the contract. You look upon this residence, and the first term that comes to mind is majestic. And it's a property that, that, that has that real aura about it uh, internally and externally. I can say to you that it was a property that was uh, the, uh, the owner of this property, is a highly credentialed master builder. And working with uh, the, the, uh, uh, the very, very good architect, put all his passion and all he has done is to, in um, um, intellectual property into this residence and wanted to build a property that would last forever. And the resultant effect is a property that really stands out in the market, as we say, highly principled, faithfully built, and as solid as a rock. The same discipline one would have probably if you're building a multi story apartment block. It just feels solid, it feels inordinate. It has wonderful flowing spaces through it. The five principal bedrooms of accommodation, the three bathrooms, nothing is left to spare here. So many parts of this property have points of difference to them. It might be the scale of the room. It might be the lavish nature of the interior. It might be that um, the palatial staircase that takes you to your, your bedrooms of accommodation, formal lounge, formal dining room, family room, games room, the, uh, the, the, the kitchen with the, uh, the, the granite bench tops and top of the line cabinetry. A wonderful internal feel, surrounded by residences of a very, very high ilk indeed. I sell this property to you today as one property that is just so faithfully uh, built and presented to the market. This is your home for a lifetime. This is a prosperous looking, outstanding home, and I call on you to start the bidding. What one would wonder what the cost would be if you were to try and find the land again in this blue ribbon belt and then build this masterpiece again. Well, what's a debate today? Who's got to start? One would think in the very high ones to start. I don't know what the feeling is today, but come alive and make your best bid known. This could be your very, very last move in property, but by goodness, it will be a very, very strong move in property. I don't know. North of the 1-7 range, I don't know what the feeling is. I guess we can begin somewhere. Then. If you've got a firm 1-7 to start and see where we go from there. I'd have thought, obviously, the parties have been commenting before the auction started about where they could be. Got bid on this property today and be sure to buy. I don't know. I could call a lot more. But anyway, I say it's north one seven to get the bidding rolling. We got something there, Patrick. Someone there, Laura, Matt, somewhere there. One seven, one six fifty. Make the start known. I'm really at the bottom end of the scum. One seven two five. seven two five. My, thank you very much. My Lee doing an outstanding job there. And the bid is one million seven twenty five. My opening bid. One seven two five. Bid the bid is one million seven hundred and twenty five, which got the ball rolling. We're thinking. 
Position in this lovely street. We got 75 to roll on. One million seven hundred and fifty here with Matthew Everingham. The bidders one point seven five against us there behind the bidders one million seven fifty. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen, make it seventy five or higher. What an outstanding home it is. One million seven hundred and fifty bidder. The bidders one million seven hundred and fifty thousand. Built by the owners with passion and flair. One million seven hundred and fifty bidder. The bidders one million seven hundred and fifty with a level garden off to the rear. One million. I caught for seventy-five or better. One million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars bid. One. Sixty came from the gentleman with Patrick Scordino there. The bid is one seven sixty. One seven six. The bid now. The bid is one million seven hundred and sixty. Watch you all involved here today, and I thank the gentleman for. Eighty. One seven eighty. Has he waited the card to be the bid is one million seven eighty. All corporate advance now. One million eight hundred and five steps brightly now. Do we make it one million eight ten or more? One million eight hundred and five five bid with Patrick Scordino there. The bid is one million eight hundred and five. Ten. One million eight ten. Fifteen, sir. The bid is one eight one five. Fifteen now. Bid in the bid is one million eight hundred and fifteen. In front, sir, gentlemen. Twenty bid. One million eight twenty. $2,000 the margin. When you work out what it costs in, in uh, per square metre, in double brick and concrete now, we've got a $2,000 difference. 1842 bid, the bid is $1,842,000 now. I'm pleading with you to go the extra mile at today's auction. $1,842,000 bid, the bid is $1,842,000. What are we thinking? Put some positive vibes into things over there, Rich. $1,842,000 now. Well, I know everyone comes along to an auction wanting to pay as little as they have to pay for property, but keep here, get as much as we can for our owners. One million eight hundred and forty-two. We want to see you through to the finish. One million eight hundred and forty-two. Climatically superior property. One million eight hundred and forty-two. It just must be. It must be a lovely home to raise a family. It must be a lovely home for people who work very, very hard to actually just have something to, to relax in and have a bit of luxury in their in their lifestyle as a result of their hard work. One million eight hundred and forty-two thousand dollars bid. I have the gentleman's bid in behind Patrick Scordino there. We are, of course, the public auction duty bound to put forward the offers to our vendor as the auction continues. In the meantime, though, I'm here to solicit the very, very best bid I can get. You know, we have a wonderful career in, uh, in selling property, but it's these high caliber properties that, uh, that you get to submit that, that give you a lot of joy. You get a great uh, feeling about properties like this.
is, particularly when you meet the owners and you understand um, just how, how principled they were in the build of the home, to bid at 1,842,000 to build something for a lifetime. Builders themselves, a bit like when an engineer designs um, their own home, they are the most sedulous people in what they do. I'm here to try and extract the very, very best bit I can of the bidders. $1,842,000. I thank the gentleman there for his quick responses. Makes the auction a, a good flowing one, as I do the parties that are standing closest to me. $2,000 the margin, and I'll get back to you shortly, and I'll give you some information on where the vendor sits. Been very, very happy with the response to the home. <laughs> Richard's just making his way down that uh, majestic stairwell and, uh, to the front of the home. And we'll come back to you shortly, I'm, I'm sure. Okay. Just for your information, BIT stands to the front here, though, at 1,842,000. Obviously, I'm just determined to, to, to see the very, very best bid made. Put your best bid up whilst it's a public auction. Don't keep anything in reserve. I'm going to give you just that. Basically, like a final flutter, the opportunity to try and come forward and just be satisfied so we can satisfy the vendors that the parties responded with their very best bid to the I'm at 1842, Richard. Just bear with us a moment. It's, it's only as we are guests on the on the at the family home. I'll, I'll just await the vendor's response. One million eight forty. <laughs> You've been gracious enough, I'll just go back to the find that for the gentleman who's holding that top bid. You're gracious enough to hold the bid. This has been a closely contested auction. One million eight hundred and forty two thousand dollars is the call. The, the long and short of it is I don't have an offer that, that is um, successful as yet. I don't have enough to see the property sold at the fall of a hammer. I'm going to let the auction continue on in its merry way, but it, it will be, I guess, that, 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 that the top bidder will have the highest. $1,842,000 bid for town. I urge you to come forward now and make your very, very best bid if you can. It'll be the count of three. One bid now, one a bid now, one a bid now. $1,842,000 bid for town. The first call. Second. And third will make it final. Can you advance with you? All done. Done. Okay. Now, I'll find the gentleman there, Patrick. Thank you, sir. You're the top bidder. You have the first offer of the written down reserves. We're going to begin negotiations with you now. The other bidders are the parties to my right. 